Hello everybody. The Warriors ran their gaggle action in an interesting way for Clay Thompson at the beginning of the third and fourth quarters. First, let's look at the standard gaggle action. The ball always gets entered to the post and then you have a diver, a popper, and a screener for the pop. The first option is Steph dives first. You can see Clay preparing to come take this cross screen from JK. Steph is so open on this cut that Draymond finds him for an easy layup. Here Andrew Wiggins gets to be the post passer. Jordan Poole and Steph are the dive and the pop. They try to be tricky here. It looks like Poole is going to take this cross screen, but instead Steph uses the gluteus maximus back screen and Poole is going to be the one diving. <laughs> wow, Steph butt wump this defender into eternity here. Poole is open, but unfortunately one of the Plumleys is waiting for him in the lane, so Wiggins does not hit Poole on the dive. We're going to flow to the second option where Steph is going to take this cross screen. Draymond gets all of this defender and Steph just prances to the wing here for a very open three. Okay, back to last night. JK entering the ball to Draymond. JK will clearly be the screener, but it's not clear who's going to pop and who's going to dive. Steph snakes around Clay. Steph is the one who dives. This gets an automatic switch from Clay's defender who jams Steph on this cut. JK cross screen for Clay. Kevonti George decides, I don't have to put up with this, and he just blocks Clay from taking the cross screen. Clay does try to go, but George is overplaying him so hard that Clay counters by cutting to the basket. To start the fourth quarter, the Warriors run gaggle again. JK feeds the post. He's going to be this cross screener. Lester Quinones and Clay are going to be the dive and the pop, but who's who? Clay flashes the thumb over his shoulder, saying, Hitch a ride on my screen. LQ goes around. It looks like he's going to be the diver. And LQ's defender is all ready to jam LQ on this dive, but. Tire screech, LQ turns around and quickly sets a screen for Clay. Clay is now the first diver, but Jordan Clarkson is just sitting in the lane. He feels fine helping off of JK, so that's going to prevent the dive all the way to the basket. But Draymond says, I don't mind. You do something with the ball, Clay. Clarkson's zoning up the basket. Horton Tucker is on the wrong side of JK. Clay's defender is trailing. That leaves a soft spot right at the elbow. Clay stops and lean to get the contact on this. Truly impressive calculation on this multi-bounce shooter roll. It's nice to see Clay have a settled game where he took good open shots for the most part. And when he was being overplayed on the three-point line, he came in and took reasonable two-point jumpers. I can't resist talking about one last play. Just a couple seconds left. Draymond, to his credit, not going for the fake just after the buzzer shot, which protects your three-point percentage. No, this is real and it's spectacular. Time for a quick celebration audit. It's always a little dangerous running with your tongue out, especially if Steph Curry is going to fly in and body bump you. But Draymond carefully retracts his tongue for the impact. Pajemski offering Draymond the high five, and Draymond leaves him totally hanging. Draymond and Podge giving Draymond a second chance with the low five, and nope, sorry, 100% hanging. So far, Draymond is handling the basic daps just fine. Here, Moses Moody coming in with five fingers, high five. Draymond responding with high five, maintaining dap parity. But look what's happening here. This is Clay Thompson. Clay is not giving Draymond the high five. He has got an OK3 set up here. And he is, in fact, going for the high three. If Draymond comes in with the high five, this is going to throw off the dap parity and possibly imbalance everyone's chi. So let's see if Draymond can come through against his greatest challenge yet. Ladies and gentlemen, he's done it. Matching the high three with the high three. Now that is championship caliber composure.